In this video, we're going to take a look at the Revolve tool. So we're coming up to Create, back over to Revolve. And now that we're in this tool, we can discuss what we need to create. First of all, we're going to have to use Boundary Line, which is currently selected, to create a 2D profile that we're going to use with this Revolve tool. And then the second piece that we need is we actually need an access line so that we know about which access to go ahead and revolve this tool around. So we're going to let's start with the profile and I can create this here in plan. And if I want to connect my line work as I sketch it, I need to make sure chain is selected. And I'll zoom in a little bit more still. And we'll just continue to sketch the profile that we need here. And there we are once again, this 2D profile, just like extrusion as well as blend, does have to be a closed loop 2D profile. And now since I've drawn this in plan, let's go ahead and give ourselves an access line. So I'm gonna click on the access. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just create an access about the work plane that was, you know, that was given to us in this generic family template. Now we have a profile. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and, and complete this just so that we can see what we have. Over here in our 3D view, now you see the form that we, that we created here, like a little bit of a knob. I'm going to select this, and similar to extrusion and blend as well, you can come back and you can edit the revolve, which will reduce this back to line work again, and I can begin to select this form work, and maybe I actually want to move it a little bit further away from the axis line, giving me uh, more of a, a void. And I can click OK, and you'll see that knob begins to grow. I actually want to point out while we have this selected, back over in our Properties menu, we can actually begin to control how far about that axis our 2D profile is actually revolved. So we have our start and our end angle. It's 360 by default, but if I wanted to just have you know, a half circle, I can change this to 180 here and click apply. And you'll see that Revit is actually giving us the angle clockwise direction being positive. If I wanted to keep the top half of this knob, for example, I would just give myself an end angle of negative 180 to create the top half instead. So this is how we control right here how much of the revolve is kept using that form work in our axis. So that's that's pretty powerful as you kind of get into some more detailed forms to know exactly how to manipulate what you have here, as well as going back and forth, revolving the actual sketch line work that we have. So I hope this video has been helpful as you continue to revolve. Revolve is also used in the family video where we created a table. We used it for our table leg as well. Um, so there are, will be Lots of opportunities as you create families and continue with conceptual massing to use the Revolve tool. I hope this video has been helpful for you.